Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 20, uh, 2020. Okay, so the given question is uh, consider the language L is equals to A power N where N is greater than or equal to 0 union A power N B power N where n is greater than or equal to 0 okay and the following statements okay so they are saying which of the following is true so option a one says that l is a deterministic context free okay option two says that l is a context free but not deterministic context free so to be clear l1 and l2 are opposite to each other right yes so any one of them will only be correct and uh, option three says that l is a not ll of k parser okay so basically i think this particular question i should discuss after uh, discussing compiler designing but i think uh, okay so most probably i'll be moving this to the compiler construction uh, okay video but if i forget it please watch that lecture and come back here guys okay yes so when it comes to this particular thing uh, so we need to check a power n as well as a power n d power n so to be clear the issue which i can observe here is uh, how can we know when to apply loop and when to move or can we do it okay i think we can do it right so I think we can construct a deterministic context free here. So what I will do is, so as I get A is, okay, so as I get A is, okay, so as I get A is, I will be start pushing them in, inside, guys, okay, okay, so my stack should be empty, right, or, okay, so I will be accepting with final state. So I will make my first state as the final state, okay, and when I get to B, I will move here, okay, and as I get to B's, I will pop them and as I get uh, at the end, if I get epsilon and my stack top is at node and if uh, the input is uh, epsilon, so then I will accept it. Okay. Yes. So I did not write exactly the diagram guys, but it is possible, right? To be clear. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. So I did not write the exact uh, expressions like uh, if uh, first A comes, uh, okay. So if first A comes and if my top is Z node, I will push it. Uh, and I it will become a z naught. If my input is a, it will become a a. If I get b, I am going to pop my element, and my top will be uh, how we will write guys. So b comma epsilon. Okay. Okay. So b comma a. So if my top is a, I am going to pop it. And similarly here also, if my top is a, I am going to pop it. So in that way we can write. So basically, even though our stack is having some ace, it is going to accept as we forced it to accept if it is final state, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now I think this is possible, right? So basically it is a nothing but a context free language and push down automata is possible. That is nothing but deterministic push down automata is possible. So option one will be the correct answer. So this is wrong and this is wrong. Okay. So now we need to check about this LLK, right? Yes. Okay, so what is a LL parser guys? Okay, I think to solve this particular thing, I think we need to convert this into grammar, right? Or else how can we solve it? Or is there any kind of trick to solve it? Because whenever we discussed about these uh, grammars, we first take the uh, grammar and for that grammar, we find first and follow and based on that, we are going to calculate it, right? Yes. Okay, so most probably let us stop here guys. I will be repeating this question in compiler designing also. So for now, first option is 100% sure, but we are not clear with this particular thing. Okay, yes, I will be discussing this question later on. So don't worry. Okay, yes. So now I hope everyone at least got a clear idea with respect to option one, right? Yes. Okay. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question, right? Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.